Howdy, howdy, howdy. Welcome back to another episode of Rise of Nations. And I think today we're going to be playing as Norway. Let's get started. Norway is definitely one of my favorite countries, both in real life and game. So we're going to start off by taking out Sweden and uh, Denmark. Probably makes more sense to go after Denmark first. The Canadia of Europe. In other words. Electronics factories are almost up. Copper and gold. And that is dandy. Not ten dash, just ten. God damn it. Oh, screw you, Bangladesh. Argentina, my man. Fuck you. Pakistan, my man. Well, fuck you too. Egypt. God damn it. Philippines. Peru. Alright, Peru is selling. Or buying, rather. Colombia. Awesome. Looks like the wizard has joined us. He's playing as Turkey. We have another 10 we can sell. I think Algeria will take 10. No, they'll be little bastards. That's what they'll be. But Morocco will take 8. Israel, will you take 2? I'm at. Fuck those corporate dealings. Just want to get a few more troops, then we'll start invading. I could train them up, but screw it. Few more factories up. Get more gold and copper. That's better. Send those guys in. Then we can just auto cap. Dandy. Let's 
just got a mass attack. I think we're going to go down the uh, fascist route this time. I enjoy going down the fascist route. It's kind of fun. You can actually have large navies without going into crippling debt. But war exhaustion and exporting early on is usually a pain. But we have enough cities to build electronics factories on. I think we'll be okay. I hope. Or we're just going to collapse and, you know. Fuck those research investments. Those kill me. Those things are the real threat in this game. They will fuck you up. Can I almost go down to nationalism? Get an aircraft factory. Steel. Motor. And fertilizer. Still eight to Vietnam. Perfect. I'm just gonna build a fort there to be on the safe side. That city is new, nearly impossible to take. Well, it's not even a city; it's like a settlement, I think. Polar bears are roaming all over the place there. Uh, hell are you up to, Germany? I see you there, buddy. Take a speed on. We'll go out to Finland. Not gonna have to worry about tungsten for a while. Let's get phosphate. Alright, he has no factories, so... Not too, too worried. Come on, you bugger, import. There we go. I thought Norway had quite a bit of iron. Now Sweden does. World War II, that was a major... Um hub for Germany. That's where they were getting most of their iron and steel for their tanks. That's why they invaded Norway. Figured Norway would have quite a bit too, though. All the mountains and shit. Actually curious, how much iron do they have? Not much. Wow. Okay. I wasn't even paying attention. I'm at war with uh, Iran. Iran is not the man today. situation like horrible that's another thing Norway has quite a bit of is uh, offshore oil wish that was kind of represented in this but 
is what it is, I guess. Start building recruitment centers. It's pretty cheap to build them in uh, Scandinavia, so might as well. Alright, they're allied to Germany and Russia. Who are you allied to? Alright, just the entire server. Go figure. Do winter training. Get a military leader. Now I'm not actually sure if I need a different leader for my uh, navy, my air force, and my uh, ground forces. I always just throw them all under one, and uh, figure, all right, probably works. I could be entirely wrong though. My ships and air force might not be benefiting from that at all. But seeing as it costs 300 military power for each general, I, I usually don't go out of my way to make more than one army. A military group, whatever you want to call it. If we go to war with them, we're going to want a navy at the very least. What do the Russians want? Yeah, the British Isles aren't uh, allied to anyone. Pull a 1066 or 783, whatever the hell it is. Land in uh, Middlesbrough. Form Gurvik. Stockholm has fallen. Excellent. Yeah, we're taking Finland. No way are we letting the uh, Russians take that. Roads are kind of a must. Tempting to go to war with them. Take it, this is all the UK. Your battleships and destroyers. The artillery is going to be a bit of a hassle. Combined with the destroyers, I can't just send a sub in and take the battleship out. Maybe it'd be more prudent to uh, take Central and Western Europe first, so that way I can put artillery along the English Channel and 
just bombard anything there. Okay, that's Germany. Okay. Alright, that might be all German. Then. Yeah, they're at war. Okay. Seems to be doing well. He's utilizing the Irid specialization. Awesome. That really makes a world of difference. I noticed you, you, you blitz through Iran so much quicker, even with tanks. Tanks usually are pretty slow in semi-mountainous and mountainous terrain, but... It really helps out, I find. Supports ready. Some artillery. So that was the original capital of uh, Sweden. Oops, Allah. I think. In the distant past, at least. Kind of a shame they don't have that Finnish slash Swedish island out here um, in the Baltic. Can't recall the name of it. No, oh, we ran out of something. Titanium. Import that. Oh dear. Do I want to get the aircraft carrier? You do a lot of damage. Let's try to export a little bit more. Then we'll get it. Fairly close to fascism, anyway, so. We'll risk it, we'll just get it. We need more oil, though. Big time. We'll export some consumer goods, extra cash. Probably won't. Yeah, go figure. Cheap bastards.
This is going to be rough. Without a doubt. We're going to want to rush that uh, canal. Keel. Close it. And we're going to park our carrier over here. Then we, we can storm Berlin. Go after Warsaw. And all this is going to be pretty safe. If they want to get their ships in, they're going to have to go all the way around. Get some more uh, attackers ready for Russia. Frigates. Winter training. I really want to get down to fascism as quick as possible. Almost there. A few more days. Perfect. All right, gents, let's do this shit. Need oil. Let's get to that uh, canal as soon as possible. Some of these guys up. There's a lot of Russian troops there. We need to take them out. They're losing a lot of troops. Not as good. Of course, that will fall pretty soon. Excellent. Go after uh, the Rhine.
expulsion act. Alright, those troops aren't trained. They're done for. More oil. Excellent. Those guys in our capital just to be safe. Brazil is really helping us out. I don't know what I did to, uh, warrant that, but, you know, it's appreciated. I will accept those donations. Alright, Russia's AI. those guys up. Let's take out France for Ken. Try to hit multiple fronts at once. Definitely going with the Military Service Act. Oh, there's a new Russia. Okay. Paris. I caught that. Could have been bad. Warsaw has got to be really weak by this point. Pretty confident we can take it. Exhaustion's okay. Let's go 
go with enforced party loyalty. Because we're spending so much on our military upkeep and our tax income is so low. Some of these guys down. Let's see if we can take Moscow. Moscow, Moscow. Guys over there. Yeah, they're dying of attrition. It'll be a close battle. So it's about to fall. Right into the sub. Beautiful. Oil shortage. Not beautiful. Winter is kind of a bonus because we have winter specialization. Let's see if they send them a little closer. Our carrier will absolutely shred those units. Take the Ryan again. So well. War exhaustion is lowering. Holy cow. War's been dragging on. What's this? Is he allied too? Yeah, whatever. I'll join. No, it won't let me. Okay. Guess not. Send these guys up. Mess them up. guys down.
Good lord. Find the content of the beating. Awesome. And there it is. Take Warsaw, let's go. Set them to capture all. What the hell do you think you're doing? Get out of here, we don't want your croissants. Set them to capture all. These guys are ready. these tanks doing? Come on. Okay, they scorched. Fair enough. Some of these guys after the Russians. No point in charging through flames. Not going to ally with India. Alright, put these guys in the English Channel. Awesome. Fortified Paris is always such a pain in the ass to take. Not quite as bad as a fortified Tokyo, but even so. And something people really under uh, utilize is forts. They can really make the difference between winning and losing a war. Not selling aircraft parts. So these guys in Moscow. After all, awesome. Wait. 
Let's take out Burn. dying in mass. I really don't want to go over to the US, so we'll just white piece him. And there goes over almost a million troops. So they're almost dead. Set them to capture all. Oh shoot. Need to lower that. Oh, come on. There we go. Awesome. Moscow's down. Germany's down. France is down. Poland is down. Now it's just a matter of fin 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 finishing up Switzerland. of Germany. Awesome. Check out the Netherlands, too. Nope. Awesome. Let's get rid of these forts. It is kind of smart putting uh, those forts on the Rhine. Should have put more of them though. Just having them on Essen, I don't think that's really enough. That's really Germany's heartland. Poor exhaustion is lowering. Awesome. Get rid of that fort as well. Don't really need it. Fortify that. Oil's okay for now. You just have to keep an eye on it. One of those flames gonna simmer. Good lord. Oh, there we go. Ask and you shall receive. 
All right, now we really need oil. Let's import. Of course, San Marino. Italy's AI actually grants at it. And the moment it becomes playable, someone joins as them. I know how hard the Kingdom of Lombardy is, so I'm gonna help him out a little. There. That can be just as frustrating as Luxembourg, so I won't be too harsh. I won't invade them or anything. How's our consumer goods? Still on the positives. a lot of factories. Allied to China, too. There's a few. It's not super industrialized, but... Yeah, he has consumer goods. Okay. It's just socialist, though. Throw a perfect carrier there. Beijing would fall in probably a day. So, not a super big threat. Yeah, I think we need to take the UK out. factories in that city. I try to avoid doing that because um, you kind of have all your eggs in one basket if you do that. That one city falls then suddenly your, your entire industry is just gone. Sometimes you, you, you kind of have to do that if you're an island nation or something but I try to keep everything spread out. Or at least throw a fort on the city. Would be my suggestion. Still a minor power. I'm sure once we annex, though, we're gonna shoot right up in the rankings. Let's focus on artillery. Awesome, he's holding him off. Good for him. Form the Kingdom of Lombardy. Can 
And not send aid? Okay, there we go. Awesome. Hopefully that helps him a little. There's really no reason for me to be in that war, it's just going to increase my war exhaustion more. These guys up. Everyone wants an alliance with me now. Not happening. Try to max out her uh, artillery. Seeing as we're fascist, we can afford quite a bit of it, and that's going to help lower our war exhaustion, or keep it lower, rather. It's not so much going to lower it in of itself, just help maintain a lower one by reducing casualties and inflicting more. Alright, let's start this war up. Take them down. Oh! Yikes. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be a pain. Artillery and anti-air. I don't know if you can force a piece, either. Oh, there's forts in every city, too. Good lord. In a situation like this, what I'd like to, uh, likely do is take out um, Azerbaijan and get a carrier up and running. Because that should reach over here. Or... We could also get artillery and just fight fire with fire. Though so ultimately, I think the carrier would be the best route. These cities down here aren't really defended, they're just fortified, and that's gonna be a pain in the ass to take. Those 
units. Awesome. San Marino got rum. Awesome. What's going on here? Oh, it's Mexico. They are also fascist. Okay. Give them uh, a little bit of cash and manpower. Nothing too much. I think it's more in our interest for Spain to remain, uh, you know, in power. Mexico comes storming on end. I don't know how they're going to react. I would really like to take China and India out. Yeah, I can foresee them being an issue. Multiple carriers, probably a few battleships, few destroyers. Luckily our artillery range is about maxed out. afford that, but just out of principle, I'm, I'm going to uh, avoid investing in that. Oh, good lord. Even more artillery. It's all mountainous.
Well, that's kind of nice. Oh, that's Spain's carrier. Not Mexico's. Take it, this is all Mexico's, though. Increase its power. Send these guys to Russia. Madrid has fallen. start investing in our uh, naval tech. Need to invest in tanks as well, but I think a navy is even more important. Train these guys up. Case down, awesome. Take out uh, Faroe Island and Iceland as well. And we'll form the North Sea Empire. Definitely one of my favorite flags, the uh, Raven Banner. I want to say that was one of the first flags ever used by uh, Denmark. One thousand something eighty, I think. It's been a while since I've looked it up. Awesome, look at that. Oh, they didn't get those uh, few cities on... Um, what the hell's it called? I can't recall the, uh, the uh, island's name. Either way, they can't form Lombardy. Is it Sardinia? I think it's Sardinia. I can't recall. That one's Corsica. 
Yeah, we'll be that lucky. Yeah, go quicker. Awesome, that war is done and over with. These guys up. Send these guys across. Approach these guys. There we go. Good old Raven Banner. the capital. Alright, they're making me feel bad. I'll white piece them. Subs never moved up. That is not good. Kind of needy there for uh, defense, pal. Come on. Awesome. Troops in, it's fine. I'm not accepting their alliance. 
made me feel bad they were going on about how they funded me. So I'll let them live. Touche. Not accepting their alliance, though. Some artillery ready. Put down the troops. Tungsten is not for sale. Not now, not ever. Let's get those tanks before they recover too much. These guys down. Take Mexico out too.
Oh, those poor tanks. Come here, little feller. our force that uh, takes Mexico City. These guys will secure Spain, all of Iberia, and North Africa. In fact, it makes more sense for these guys to go for air training. I think. And some artillery on Corsica. Let's go. Oh, those poor tanks. I see that. Have no fear, the friggin' is here. They won't be getting far. Actually, maybe they will. I don't know. Where the hell they go? They just Houdini. What the hell? Oh, that's them over there. Okay. Thanks. 
let him up. guys down. dying of attrition. Ah, uh, shoot. Mexico left. What the hell's that? Right into the submarine. Wasn't even paying attention. That is just dandy. Kinda of bummed out they left. Got yeah, this whole force ready to invade them too. Such is life though. Search is life. This means we can take these three thousand and send them over to Beijing. Where the hell are these guys going? I thought that was a port city. In fact, I'm almost certain that was a port uh, city, realistically, because Stalingrad or Volgarad, I believe, was getting most of their supplies from uh, Astrakhan during World War II. And the Germans, uh, part of the reason they were trying to take Stalingrad was to cut this off. down. Oh, they're, just, they're getting shredded. Good lord. Alright, here come the attackers. That's okay. Feels longer than that, though. Do max out the range? Nope.
propeller. No escorts or anything. like that. Let's 
get these guys up there. And we'll send in the main army. These guys over here. It's taking a bit longer than I wanted to. Figured it'd uh, be over before Christmas. That was four years ago. Probably gonna struggle to take Shanghai, but worth a shot. Take Beijing. Yep. That about sums up that war. I have a 1 to 7 casualty ratio, roughly. There we go. That went pretty well. I was hoping that first uh, landing would actually do the job, and we took Beijing, but um, he just mass spawned like 12,000 tanks, carrier, and our trained units weren't enough. So that dragged on a little bit. Well, I think we'll conclude this episode here ultimately. I don't think there's really much else to do. I'm not going to invade poor little Argentina over there, so hopefully you enjoyed watching, and thank you for watching.